Hey everybody, I uh, welcome you to the Pet Food Puzzle Guy, and I sure appreciate you being here, especially my regular uh, nutrition mission folks. And uh, hey, at, at, uh, I wanna say I just hit 3,000 subscribers. I know that doesn't mean much to you guys, but uh, and that wasn't my goal, but it's pretty exciting, and it's really been a great, uh, fun community. I've made a lot of friends uh, through this, and that was a big surprise. And uh, looking at the, um, the numbers, uh, my Canadian friends, and you know who you are out there, uh, you guys are up to 9% of my of my audience. So uh, go go Canada, that, that's pretty cool. So, and I'm also learning how to do playlists because I'm way over a hundred videos now. And I, I know a lot of times you guys are looking for a particular review on a food or uh, my comments about some of the interviews that, that I've commented on. So I'm gonna break that down in a playlist so you'll be able to go in there and search a little easier. I hate telling somebody, oh yeah, I have a video on that. Go Just go through my list when the list is getting longer and longer. So I'll break it down to reviews and interviews and stuff like that to, to make it a little more helpful and easier for you to find find stuff and even for me to find it because I go searching for stuff sometimes and I can't find it. So anyway, just wanted a little bit of housekeeping. And uh, one of the other categories I'm going to start doing is looking at some of the ads and uh, advertising that, that are coming my way on Facebook and YouTube. I'm only on those two platforms. I don't I can't handle any more than that. But uh, it is it's kind of interesting. I've been hit with one in particular uh, a commercial or article, whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I want to start commenting on some of these and tearing them apart too, because I think uh, I think it'd be worth it. And uh, this one will be kind of fun. So uh, Just Food for Dogs has just been inundating my, my uh, Facebook space with just ad after ad after ad, kind of the same, same thing with this uh, so-called nutritionist. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We'll tear it apart and uh, have a little bit of fun. Okay, so the first thing that popped up was this uh, graphic, and uh, of course it caught my eye because I saw pet food, and there's Science Diet, Just Food for Dogs, and Blue Buffalo. And um, basically, uh, it's this uh, our registered nutritionist reviewed three popular dog food brands, and uh, it's interesting, those three, but uh, based on ingredient quality, convenience, price, and taste. And the winner, you're going to get 50% off, whoever wins. Now, it's interesting. They're judging the food based on those four criteria. Um, nutrition Mission folks, what's the problem with this? If you're going to compare foods, what's missing on there? What should be actually the first one on there? Show me the nutrients, right? How do the nutrients compare in these three foods? But uh, they're not going to go there. So so let's go ahead and um, take a look at and see... Um, See how this uh, article, if you want to call it an article, obviously it's a sponsored ad, but let's take a look. So here we go. Just Food for Dogs versus Hill Science Diet. Actually, it says Hill Science Diet. I just noticed that. That's a typo. Uh, versus Blue Buffalo. Which dog food reigns supreme? And this is written supposedly by this Jenny, uh, who is an MPH. I don't know what MPH stands for. Uh, I do know... RDN is registered dietitian nutritionist because she says so in the article. <laughs> so, um, so of course I'm looking at this thinking, okay, this seems like a setup to me. So let's go ahead and read what uh, Jenny has to say. Are you struggling to find the perfect dog food for your beloved pet? I've been there and I've got you covered. So there you go. She's going to take care of it for us. As a registered dietitian nutritionist, I take food seriously, even when it comes to my dog. I know how hard it can be to find the right food that nourishes and fuels your pet to live their happiest, healthiest life. Uh, after a long search, I've narrowed down three popular dog food brands. Just Food for Dogs, notice it's highlighted, <laughs> uh, Blue Buffalo, and Hill Science Diet. While each has its strengths, if you're truly committed to providing the highest quality nutrition for your dog, stick around to see which one reigns supreme. Next page, here we go. Why kibble isn't enough. So she's comparing a non-kibble food to two kibble foods and right away saying kibble is not enough. Well, guess who the winner then would be, right? Big surprise. Like many dog owners, I used to think kibble was fine until I learned more about what goes into it. 
One major issue is that kibble is highly processed. Wow, where, where have we heard that? Requiring high temperature cooking that destroys many of the essential nutrients that your dog needs for optimal health. So right away, we know there ain't no way this lady wrote this. This is coming right from Just Food for Dogs. And if you go to their website, you'll see this is exactly how they, this is a jargon they use. On top of that, many kibble brands use lower quality feed grade ingredients, including meat byproducts and fillers. Fillers, like that's a word that a dietitian nutritionist would, would use or even know versus a pet food marketer. <laughs> um, and that is which are far from the whole human grade ingredients you want for your pet. In contrast, Just Food for Dogs uses real meats and vegetables, ingredients fit for human consumption, and cooked in a way that preserves their natural goodness. So surprise, surprise, we see who's gonna win this, right? The one with ingredients even I would eat, Just Food for Dogs. Just Food for Dogs is unlike any other dog food I've encountered. Um, instead of low quality ingredients and heavy processing, they use real human grade meat and vegetables. Kind of already said that. Uh, their meals are gently cooked in open kitchens where you can see and recognize the real ingredients. There's the term real. I'm sure nutritionists would use that, right? With Just Food for Dogs, you won't find any questionable preservatives or additives. Their food retains its nutrients, providing your dog with better digestion, increased energy, and even a shinier coat. If you're committed to feeding your dog the best, Just Food for Dogs stands head and shoulders above the rest. And you can get 50% off the, uh, the winner, the winning food here. But let's not forget, there's we have budget-minded people. The cheaper option, Blue Buffalo and Hill Science Diet. Now let's talk about the budget. If you're looking for the cheapest option, Hill Science Diet is your go-to. It's the most budget-friendly of the three, which is really funny. As a former Hills rep for 34 years, I'd never heard Science, to be, science Diet being priced as the budget diet. It just shows how crazy prices have gotten. Um, uh, let's see. And with Blue Buffalo being slightly more expensive, though still accessible at most grocery and pet stores. And uh, Blue Buffalo is in uh, many grocery stores and pet stores, science diets just in pet stores. However, after trying both of these brands with my dog Tater, it's actually Tater Tot, I watched her video, uh, I just didn't see the same results. While both Hill Science Diet and Blue Buffalo are cheaper up front, the long-term benefits didn't stack up. Now, I don't know how long she tested these three foods long-term, but what did she say? I didn't notice the same improvements in digestion, energy, or coat health that I did after switching to Just Food for Dogs. So there you go. She's tested it, and that's uh, what she found. Uh, this is funny. I hesitated when I first saw the price of Just Food for Dogs. The fresh frozen variety pack costs $167.99. And, and I don't know the size of that, so I, I'm playing. I, I just don't know. Um, but with their 50% off first time auto ship discount, remember that's auto ship, so you keep getting it, um, it ships for free and it's only $84. For the quality of ingredients, the health benefits I've seen in Tater, and the peace of mind of knowing she's eating the best, it's worth every penny. And again, she reminds us you can get 50% off our winner. And that makes you a winner, right? And of course, we have the typical graphic. You know, unlike Hill Science Diet, you know, it has the human grade, all the other stuff. Got to get the big red X's on the Science Diet bag. Get the big red X's on the Blue Buffalo bag. Um, you know, that's what they do. And um, it's really interesting. And I don't know where this is within the, the, the commercial, but um, let me show you the graphic here. <clears throat> How do you feed your dog kibble according to a registered nutritionist? And if you can make that out, maybe you can't make that out, but she's basically dump, dumping the kibble into the kitchen garbage dispenser. Um, these food companies, and, and this is the problem I have with, with all of them, really. They all, and, and even when you look at uh, Dr. Becker and Rodney and Dr. Judy, they all, they can't help themselves but to say how kibble is garbage. Kibble is, is uh, McDonald's. It's, it's, uh, 
It's just low quality, horrible food. I wouldn't feed that in a million years to my pet, as Dr. Judy said, uh, said on the last video. Um, they, they can't just keep it comparing. They can't say, here's our great product, and this is how it compares nutritionally to these others. They can't do that because if they did, <laughs> you wouldn't buy their food, but they could use all the other criteria that was used in this article. But, and even that, as disingenuous and all, all that is, they have to resort to the fact, what you're feeding, I have to guilt you. I have to make you shame that you are feeding kibble. You are feeding kibble as a pet parent and you deserve to have, uh, DHS should, should come in and, and the ASPCA, whoever, and take your pet because this is animal abuse that you are feeding kibble to your dog. That's, ba that's basically what they're trying to get across. They can't help it. It's just, it, it comes out just like it did here. All that other stuff was BS. Any, anybody that knows my channel and follows me, follows Dr. Ray, you know it's BS. And the sad fact is there's way too many people that take it as gospel. But they just have to, somehow they have to show how bad it really is. And there you go. The best way to feed kibble is to dump it in the garbage can. So, of course... Not fooling me, not fooling many of you. Some of you, I hope, if you're somebody that actually you've been seeing these ads and you don't know better, welcome to the Nutrition Mission. We we welcome you with open arms. Please check out some of my videos uh, and, and interact with us, not just me. Uh, I, I said this in the last video, and this is so true, especially even recently. The comments that come in from those of you out there that are doing research, not real research, really doing your best. Um, it, it's great interaction and we're all learning. And that's the whole point of this channel is, is I, I'm no superstar expert or anything like that. Just sharing my experience, sharing my knowledge. But uh, the information from other folks coming in uh, with comments is just, has just been really awesome. I, I know everybody's benefiting. What about the nutrient comparison of Blue Buffalo Hill Science Diet and just food for dogs. So here you go. Here is Sundays. And if we, this is all in dry matter. And I'm going to put Sundays up. And I guess I'll just put them all up. Sundays, Science Diet, Blue. And uh, first thing you'll notice, if you look at the percentage of protein, you'll see that Sundays is much higher than Science Diet and Blue Buffalo. Uh, if you remember, 15% up to 30% is the optimal range in the Small Animal Clinical Nutrition uh, textbook. Uh, this, um, clearly you can see Science Diet and Blue Buffalo are, are well within that range and Sunday is higher. So they're giving you, they're delivering higher protein that just has to be broken down by the kidneys and the liver and eventually glycogen and then turned into energy later on. Um, not a problem if we have healthy kidneys, but if those kidneys are compromised or older, whatever, if there's undetected renal insufficiency going on, uh, that could be a detrimental thing. So right away we see excess protein. What happens when we have excess protein? Calcium and phosphorus usually come along with it. So what do we see? We see calcium in Sundays at 1.47. In science diet, it is literally half that half of the calcium. If we look at blue buffalo, blue buffalo is 1.39, so it's a little lower than Sunday's, but still just about double that of the science diet calcium level. Uh, if we look at phosphorus, phosphorus of course is found in the protein. The lower the quality protein, the more phosphorus we're gonna find in the diet, or if there's a lot of calcium from, from foreign objects in the, in the meat sources, the phosphorus has to be uh, raised. So, so we're raising mineral levels, whether we want to or not. What do we find in Sundays? We find that the phosphorus level is 1.26. Now, if you remember uh, the small animal clinical nutrition, the range is 0.4 to 0.8. Okay, some of you probably, you nutrition mission folks probably have this down uh, by heart like I do. So 0.8 is the highest of the optimal range. 0.8, well, no, we're at 0.126. I'm sorry, 1.26. If we see science diet, the phosphorus level is 0.56%. So that's well within that 0.4 to 0.8 range. If we see blue buffalo at 0.96, they're just a hair off that uh, higher than that optimal range, but not too bad. Um, if we look at sodium level, 
of 1% in Sundays, 0.3% in science diet, so a third of the, of the sodium. And in blue buffalo, we find the same thing, 0.3%. If we look at the vitamin E level, that's the antioxidants that are put in the food, and uh, they have to be at a high enough level to actually make a difference. If we see in Sundays, it's at 239 international units per kilogram of food, um, kind of low, to be honest. If we look at blue buffalo, it's at 184, so actually even lower um, than Sundays. And in science diet, it's actually at 524 international units. Uh, Hills did a lot of research back in the 90s into antioxidants and what levels would be necessary, studying alkanol, alkanol levels and cellular damage and all that. So uh, you'll always usually find much higher vitamin E levels in science diet products. And when you look at the nutrients, that's how you know which food is healthiest. Totally different, totally different than everything else you're hearing from the pet food marketers out there and the ingredientists. So let's take a look at some of these commercials. And again, it, it, if anything, it equips you to not let it, not let it get to you and realize it's just marketing BS and there's nothing nutritional about it. All right. So you all take care. Thanks for listening. And uh, again, I appreciate all the support. Hit that like button, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, and again, I, I'm trying to keep up with the comments. I really do love uh, the interaction between all of us. So let's keep that going. Thanks again.